Yeah, I mean, I, I'm glad we got him some, him and uh, Nolan some a little bit of breaks uh, there. I mean, it'd be nice to be a little more separation to give him a little more. But uh, yeah, I know I thought he was solid. I mean, did a good job, good better job of taking maybe. Um, you know, especially his threes were the right ones, and he was on balance, and and it makes a big difference when he does that. Yeah, he's he was great. I told him afterwards. I mean, it's just the plays he make. It's you know, and how he competes, and and uh, you know, he's just a he's a winner. And it doesn't you know, people pick up this score tomorrow and oh yeah yeah. But I mean, he made a lot of winning plays when the game was still in the balance, and and obviously that game was not you know our a our a string or whatever. You know, we did we had it was very choppy and. And that's that's due to Bakersfield really competes. I mean, they they get out and compete, and they don't quit competing, and they uh, uh, get after you pretty good in kind of every phase. And I mean, you got to just kind of buckle down and and uh, just you know play with heart. That's what he does. I think he had uh, said 13 rebounds two in the last three games. Is that something you guys impressed him to do a little bit more? Needed him to do a little bit more in this team. Uh, I mean, that, we've been after him to do that his whole career. I mean, he started his first scrimmage, I think, as a freshman against Michigan State, one of the closed door scrimmage. I think he had 15. Uh, you know, and they had a huge front line back then. So we've been kind of on him ever since then to tap into that. And it's been hit or miss. So certainly something he could do again because he just has such a good feel and he, and he, and he, you know, moves to the ball really well and, and uh, just instinctually very good. Yep, yep. I thought they both, Dusty, uh, really looked good, especially uh, early in the first half and just kind of do, doing what he does. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, Braden just does a great job of, of putting the ball in the basket, you know, when he's when he's around there. And it's in a variety of ways, but he's just got a real knack for that. You guys have to make plays on their own. A bunch of guys that can make plays. Obviously, Boogie and then the, the Collier, the freshman, is, 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 is quite a talent. Um, but you know they're they're, they're and they got some great experience, you know, coming back. So uh, yeah, it'll be a huge uh, challenge. That's a really really talented basketball team. Uh yeah, kind of. I mean, they're a pretty solid team uh, coming off a tough Maui tournament. Uh, we just weren't as focused as we need to be, but uh, at the end of the day, a win's a win, and um, yeah, we just gotta keep moving forward, keep getting better in practice, and, and working on our offensive defense, and trying to be better for the next game. So. Yeah, we'll get that right. I had a feeling shots going down. How's that changed the conference? Yeah, it feels good. I mean, I've been playing college basketball for three years now. Um, I mean, I just had a slow start to the season. I know, I know shots are going to fall. Um, that's part of the reason why I came here. Um, just knowing the coaches staff is going to have trust in me to take those shots. And um, I feel like I got some good ones tonight. So, yeah, I think it's good for the confidence going forward. Uh, a little bit, but mainly just man missing shots. You know, I mean it's a miss or make game, and um, had a little slump for the first five. So hopefully it's not another one. Hopefully that's the only one of the year. Dusty, how huge was that quick start for you? It's top of it's going to get you guys on the board at least early on. It's good, like you said. I mean, it's a miss make game, and just shoot them all with confidence. So, uh, it's nice to see some go down early, uh, and yeah. What's your confidence level like after six games compared to your first start a couple weeks ago after six games? Are you noticing anything? Yeah, I mean, slower? obviously, the more games I play, you know, the more settled in I get uh, to the offense, to everything that I'm that I'm doing out there. But yeah, no. Uh, game by game, my confidence gets better and better. You guys make up what Anton's been able to activity level wise, not just in the scoring department, but like tonight for rebounds defensively, for example. What he's been able to give you guys here to stretch. Yeah, um, he's huge for us. He's the guy that gets us going just with everything. Uh, if we can't score the ball, he's, he's our biggest guy on defense. Um, he just does everything for us. He's a glue guy, but he's starting to score the ball too. So he's been amazing for us. Um, yeah, he's going to continue to be amazing for us because he's just a vet and he knows he knows how to play basketball. 
and he knows he knows this program. He just knows how to win games. Brian, you've gone against a bunch of good guards yeah. this year, but in the Big East, yeah. <clears throat> what uh, what do you make of Boogie and, and Isaiah this weekend? Yeah, they're tough guards. Um, two good players that like to score the ball. Um, yeah, uh, so I mean, we got good guards over there. They're good guards, so we'll, we'll see. It'll be, probably be a good, good battle, good test for us. Ryan, in the second half, you had a pass I think up to June, and kind of got a little happy when they got called for the travel. And you look like you were telling him to shoot it. Yeah. What, what is, where is he sort of been at? How do you see his game, and how much you know improvement has he had, and how important he'll be going forward? Yeah, um, he's had a lot of improvement. I mean, I think Drew's been just slowly trying to get used to everything over here, and um. He's been doing a great job of that so far. Um, I think he just needs his confidence to get up a little bit more. Um, and uh, that's a work in progress. But he was big in that UCLA game for us when we had our base go out. So, um, man, Drew will figure it out. He's a great player. And then, Steve, it didn't sound like Brian was going to play yet, or maybe. I don't mm -hmm. know, but you had some battles. Did yeah. you going back? Are you close with him at all? And yeah, I'm pretty, I mean, I'm pretty good friends with him. Yeah, obviously, we're from the same, or I mean, he moved to the same area that I'm from. So. Uh, yeah, we played four times my senior year, uh, so it'll be good to see him again up in Vegas. Do you have any history with any other guys on the team, younger guys? Uh, Oziah Sellers, I don't know if you guys know him, but he's one of the shooters over there. He played at uh, SCA, and that's kind of in the same area that I'm from, too, so, yeah. Have you guys seen kind of during those longer stretches up in terms of maybe seven or eight minutes stretching first half of field goal? What kind of needs to happen to avoid those, especially the bigger games? Oh, there they go. Got it. Uh, I think we just got to keep working on our offense. I think our defense is at a good place right now, but um, we just got to figure out sometimes what we're doing offensively. We just got to flow to our next actions and keep the ball moving, keep getting to our next actions quicker so things can flow instead of stuff being so stagnant. And I think that's where we run into some of our problems. So. Um, yeah, it's a work in progress, and um, coach has been honest in practice for all that stuff. So we're going to continue to work at it, um, and and yeah, we'll figure it out. Gonzaga's always been pretty great offensively, so yeah.